What's up everyone? I'm Kat and I hope you're having an awesome Friday. Let's go take a walk around the penny. Let's start by looking at what the newsletters try to dish. Quant RX, biomedical corporation symbol QTXB, was mentioned twice. It opened today at 12 cents and rallied just over 55% on a volume of over 1.6 million. Oh, wow, thanks for the BS there, buddy. I'm not too sure if this is a legitimate statement or if newsletters are just bored and looking for things to say, but whatever. Green Gold Ray Energy, symbol GRYE, also got two mentions. A few days ago, newsletters said that the company completed a conversion of around 100,000 acres and is now poised to become a leader in biodiesel production. It opened at just under 3 cents and fell 8% to a closing price of 0 0.023. Its high for the day was 0 0.03 and its low was 0 0.022. This stock is definitely a low volume mover at just over 349,000. But if it really does become a leader in biodiesel production, it could see a lot of growth in the future. Just don't be like PEIX. Our winner of the day is Left Behind Game Symbol LFBG. Left Behind engages in the development and publishing of video game products based on its best-selling book series. The company issued a press release today that announced the arrival of their games at major Christian retailers. This had a big impact on its stock today, which rallied 25% on an impressive volume of over 261 million. Awesome job, gamers! And our loser today is actually a repeat offender, Camelot Entertainment Group, symbol CMGR. We've seen the stock on the loser side before, so it's kind of sad to see it back here again. It opened today at .0008 and fell over 14% on a volume of over 152 million. The high price of the day was unfortunately its opening price and the low was 0 .0005. Its closing price was 0 .0006. Chatroom Cheddar. The biggest topic of the day was still LOCN Incorporated. This stock hasn't had any breaking news since 2005, but it had a decent rally today, rallying over 5% on a volume of 2.47 million. It opened at 17 cents and had a high today of 0.23 and a low of 0.12. The hoopla of it doing a reverse merger and moving to NASDAQ still continues. We've talked about it for two days in a row. Check out our past shows on our website. Caution ahead, traders. Our quote of the day comes from Ryan who said, don't dip your pen in Company Inc. WTF Ryan, that's interesting but this is a penny stock show, not Pornhub. And before we leave our chat room chatter, here's a special shout out to Serene. Happy belated birthday Serene, I hope you're enjoying our show and thanks for being a fan. Alright, let's move on to some BS and bring this Friday to an end. Unitech Global Services symbol UGLB rallied an outstanding 2100% today. How amazing, except for the fact that this stock only has a volume of 1500. Nice try, Unitech, and the two traders who think this makes sense. And Reborn Incorporated symbol RBOR fell over 95% today. However, the volume was a simple 350. The company is a manufacturer and distributor of powdered milk. I guess milk doesn't make the bones stronger. Come back at me with some real news. So it's a wrap. We hope you enjoyed your first week of Simply Pennies. Make sure you become a fan on Facebook. We'll see you right back here on Monday for more of the penny stock news you crave. I'm Kat. Bye. This stock hasn't had any breaking news since 2005. But what? Oh. Chicken wing. All right.